In this session, we're going to talk about creating and sharing print options and settings with other users. Uh, Civil 3D makes this very easy. We have many ways to share uh, print configurations and print content with others. On my screen, I've got a drawing that was created from the template file. It has some layouts, some pre-configured title blocks in it. First of all, we can share these. Uh, normally, they're, they're going to stay in your template, so they'll automatically be there when you start a new drawing. But if you wanted to move them from one drawing to another, in this case, I'm starting a brand new drawing. This drawing just has a couple layouts in it. I could bring up my design center just by pressing Control 2 we will pop that up on screen. Over here on the left, the design center is just like your Windows Explorer. It allows you to navigate to your hard drive. I could navigate to my template. From here, I could select the layouts and you can see these are the layouts that are in the template file. If I right click on this, I can choose Add Layouts. Let's close the palette and that layout is now part of this drawing. There it is, right there. We can see it's now in this file. That layout contains all the plot configurations and uh, pen settings and everything, so this title block is now ready to go. So that's one thing we can share. Let me close this. Um, another thing we can share is page setups. We saw earlier when I went to plot, I'm going to plot this drawing, this is set up for a PDF and it's 11 by 17 inches. What if I wanted to plot it to a 22 by 34 inch sheet? Normally we plot reduced sets, but in this case, since the, the plan is already reduced, I want to plot it to 22 by 34. Uh, not a problem. I don't have to take an update everything. I don't have to create another sheet. Uh, we can do this automatically. First, what I'm going to do is select the printer I'd like to use, the HP DesignJet uh, Z6600. Um, then we'll pick our sheet size. I'm going to come down here and I will pick a D size portrait that's 22 by 34. Now what do I want to plot? I want to plot a window. I'm going to select the lower left corner here and the upper right corner. There we go. I want to um, center the plot and let's take and change this to I want to plot it at twice scale. Let's click preview. There we go. I'm now printing this drawing on a 22 by 34 inch sheet of paper uh, to the HP printer. Let me close this for a second. Now that I've made that configuration, I can save it up here as a page setup. Let me go ahead and click Add, and I'm going to call this 22 by 34 HP Plotter. I'll click OK, and then for right now I'll go ahead and click OK and we'll save this. So that file was printed, uh, or that drawing was printed to a file. That means the next time I go to plot this sheet, let me go to plot, it's automatically going to want to plot back to PDF, but in the event I needed to plot it to the HP, I could just grab that right here, and it repopulates all of those settings. So page setups are a very powerful tool. It's basically a saved collection of, of plot settings. You can save these and, and share these with other users. Earlier we talked about the concept of the Page Setup Manager. If I right click on this Layout tab and go to Page Setup Manager, this is how you can import a page setup from one drawing to another. Normally we save these in the template, uh, but if you want to, you can move them back and forth um, from one file to another. Let me close this. I'm going to go back to Plot for a second. Other things we can share. We can share the pen table. Uh, we, we created a pen table here. That pen table is saved on, the, on my local hard drive, but the pen tables could be stored on the network. Likewise, we could uh, save plotter configurations. Earlier, we took a plotter, the HP plotter, we went to properties and we went in and we edited its custom properties. Let me close this. I could go through and save those changes if I want to. When those changes are saved, that plotter will show up with a PC3 extension. Uh, that means it's a, it's a saved version of the driver. Those can be shared. Let me show you where we can get those cancel. So if I bring up my options, once again options are a lot like user preferences, on the files tab here under printer support file path, under plot style table search path, here's where you can put your pen tables to make sure that everybody in the company can find them. Here's the printer configuration search path. Here's the path where we could save the PC3 files for the plotters. So using Civil 3D, we can easily share our pens, we can share our plotter configurations, we can share our title blocks, and we can share saved page setups.